I want to be a HBCU student the same year that Back That Ass Up came out. Ty's going to be asking me some questions, some of which were asked on Instagram. And we're just going to get ready to go in over. The first question. Uh -huh. Tell us about life after undergrad. How's that been? Life after undergrad has been... Honestly, it has been amazing. <laughs> College was a trip. I had a great time, but I also had a lot of adventures. Mm -hmm. So life after undergrad has been beautiful because I've been able to do and use the skills that I learned in undergrad as an acting major because I studied acting and I've been able to work as an actor. I've reached strides that I prayed for. It's just been very hopeful and very inspiring and it's fun. It's fun to not have 20 essays due and dealing with professors and the school environment. I, Life after undergrad has been amazing. If you could run one existing business, which one would it be and how would you change it? Oh my God. The first thing that came to my mind was like Shea Moisture mm -hmm. or something like that. I think it would definitely be like a hair care business. So I'd probably run, I'd run Pattern Beauty, Tracy Ellis Ross's brand, mm -hmm. because it's fun and it's young and it's really nice. I love the aesthetic that she has so far. If I, one thing that I would change would be, I don't know, I would probably, I don't, I don't know because I think she's doing such a good job. What are you most looking forward to in the next 10 years? In the next 10 years, I'm looking forward to seeing my career grow, seeing how I grow as a woman and as a person in general. I'm looking forward to marrying my man, having some cute babies. <laughs> Starting our family, building our life together, and looking forward to seeing my nieces grow up and my nephew and seeing my family um, prosper. Also, can we talk about this? This is like, this is a week old. Like these twists have been in for a week. I love keeping my twists in for like over a week. What are you most likely to stay up all night talking about? The future. I think my boyfriend can tell you. I'll be up all night and be like, babe, like this, we're gonna do this or this or. What do you think, babe? Mm -hmm. Is it true? Yeah. Craziest or most out of character thing you've ever done? I'm trying to think of something that's appropriate. When you meet someone that you're attracted to, what's the first thing you notice about them? Well, let's change it up. What's the first thing you notice about me? <laughs> Um, the first thing I noticed about you was his jawline and his cheekbones. He has, I mean, if you've been here before, then you've seen him. He has the most beautiful, sharpest cheekbones and the most square jawline and I'm in love. Like, oh. So that's something that I noticed like immediately. First, let's, this hair, y'all see this hair? Y'all see this hair? What did you say when you were a kid and people asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Did you always say actor? No, I wanted to be a singer. That's the very, very, very first thing. And then like right after immediately, because I, I knew I wanted to do more than that. I wanted to be a singer and then an actor. Like those are the first two things I'd always say. But singer was first. Like you couldn't tell me I was going to be a singer. Like I was going to be selling out tours, okay? What animal would you want to be reincarnated as? A lioness, not also, because I love them so much. Um, I think they're so fierce, but sometimes I think of stuff like maybe like a sloth sitting there minding their business. They don't be bothering nobody. What era would you choose to live in if you could? If I had to choose somewhere, it would be the 90s because like be like a 20 something year old in the 90s mm, at an HBCU. and. I don't say it earlier than that because I'm black and I just don't have the time. <laughs> I do not. So I want to say, I want to be a HBCU student the same year that back that ass up came out. <laughs> what living celebrity do you identify the most with? Rihanna, because she's a Caribbean queen, a West Indian queen who is doing something with herself. 
That's my girl. She is killing the game. She came to America and took it over, and that's what I want to do. Let me tell you, this is the Ultimate Therapy Argan Oil Stimulating Growth Oil. I got this at the beauty supply store the day before we got on quarantine. Also, my Tropical Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Um. Thanks guys for watching my video. This is the end result. Nine out of ten times in quarantine, my hair is like this because who has the time? I mean, honestly. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, you know, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any more questions, let me know. I'd like to answer them. If you like this type of video, let me know as well. Comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe.